1958. The place, Florida Cypress Gardens. A great new water sport was beginning to come of age. Sky skiing, a thrilling byproduct of water skiing. The Wright brothers of ski flying were Paul Updike and Vern Crary, credited with the first ski flights in Sacramento, California during the State Fair of 1951. But credit for advancing the sport definitely belongs to Cypress Gardens, Florida. This is Ken Thibodeau, an early gardens pioneer. Simone Curry, key figure at the gardens for many years. Johnny McCoy and Jack Wiley, water ski champs of the 50s. Alan Bromberg, another great champion, and Dick Pope Jr., innovator of many water sports and now president of Cypress Gardens. By 1958, after a seven-year period of trial and error following the inaugural flights of Updike and Curry, skiing the skyways was beginning to evolve into a scientific art. Kite dimensions became directly related to the weight of the skier. Larger kites for big guys, topping 180 pounds, smaller ones for lightweights. The average kite is 14 feet long and 12 feet wide. Aluminum alloy tubing replaced spruce for the frame, and early canvas or linen fabric materials were replaced by synthetics such as nylon or orlon. In the 50s, it took a powerful inboard speedboat to zoom a human kite into the air, but the outboard was soon to come into its own. In those days, the only link between flying and falling was that grip on the crossbar. It was a matter of, hang on, boy, hang on. A sudden crosswind and timber. It's Jerry Ember, another pioneer of the 50s. Jerry's OK, though, and a top photographer today. This 1958 ski kiting exhibition at Cypress Gardens was scheduled for the entertainment of the most distinguished guest, that year's Miss America lovely Marilyn Vandenberg whose trophy went to Jack Wiley for the best all-round performance. As the kite flies, so does time. And here we are at Cypress Gardens in the middle 1960s. By now, ski kiting is advanced as a sport similar to sailing because the lifting force under a kite is similar to the driving force that keeps a sailboat underway. The boat driver must be a student of air currents related to boat speed. Heading up this exhibition of modern ski kiting is veteran Ken Thibodeau, who now operates his own kite manufacturing plant at Lake Wales, Florida. Notice that modern kites are equipped with a body sling, not only an important safety feature, but a device permitting a flyer much more freedom to execute tricks and maneuver his kite the way a skipper maneuvers his sail. Another safety feature is a special trip release on the towboat used to cast off the tow line at the moment of splashdown. There's an emergency trip release on the flyer's sling, too. A perfect splashdown and a happy landing for Ken Thibodeau. Commanding the towboat is Buster McCullough, Cypress Gardens ski show director. Today's powerful and dependable outboard engines do a great job of zooming the skiers into the sky. Here again is Simone Curry, five times European ski champion and one of the all-time great skiers of this generation. Simone flies a kite painted with the flag of his native Lebanon. Modern ski kiting, like its parent water skiing, has developed into a highly competitive sport. National and regional kite flying tournaments are gaining widespread popularity. As spectacular as ski kiting itself, are these close-up pictures taken by award-winning Cypress Gardens photographers. For these skyborne maneuvers, a camera was mounted in the kite directly behind the flyer. Ready for splashdown, men. And easy does it right on target. One of the greatest of the modern ski flyers is Johnny Roberts, all-round star of the Cypress Gardens Ski Show. Johnny's a great barefoot skier and likes to fly his kites that way without skis. Dropping them in mid-air is a showstopper. 
but this boy can take off from the beach without skis as easily as with them. Flying barefoot, according to Johnny, gives him much more freedom of movement for sailing his kite all over the sky. Without skis, Johnny performs incredible acrobatics on a trapeze that really flies. Of course, the obvious question is, how does he come down? How does he make a landing? A parachute, perhaps? No, just riding on his back like a human aquaplane. No question about it. Skiing the skyways adds a thrilling new dimension to water skiing. But remember this. Skiing the skyways is a sport for expert skiers only. If you aspire to become a human kite, better let first things come first.